G'day guys and girls and welcome back to our little channel, Goodies Beer Reviews. Look what I've got today. Let's go old school beer review and get the beer out of the way. Well not out of the way, it is the star of the show, Gold Top, which means oh, you get those sketchy gold tops and you think it's going to be and the next minute, Nick minute. Better read this before. Look, 375 mil can. Someone's catching a fish. It's obviously a, maybe a cod. Um, cod? Cod? Mouth? Hazy IPA. This is from Urala. Uh, New England Brewing Co. It's a hazy IPA. It comes in 6.1. Percent ABV, 50 IBUs. Um, it's a very small little label. Look, it's a bit dark here tonight. The clouds have come over. So someone's caught a big cod. A uh, bit of, you know, well, there might be some fishing up there, Urala in the rivers. I love Urala. Have I mentioned that before? I love Urala. I like the town. I've stopped there numerous times in my working days. You know what? Very firm crack, but not much noise. Neighbours will still hear because it's quiet. Let's look. New Wing, I've had a few beers there over the years. It rhymes all the time when I say beers over the years with no fear. Why not? I need a nice beer tonight. I've had a Carlton Drive and I've had... A two is extra dry. I got a six pack from the corner shop, which is like $22 <laughs> for a six pack at a Teddy's. But, 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 I can hear Trev going, oh, fucking hell. You know, people going to have attacks. And, oh, it's close to the, it's just close to home because it's just that little stall. And without it, you'd be like, shit, I could go for a six pack. I could walk up there. And grab one and come home. So cod, big fish. Um, hopefully there is some. Oh, goody. You've been watching 296 and had a few beers, haven't you, at the UFC? I only had one. Actually, I had none, actually. I had zero. Stayed home and watched it. Purchased it on pay-per-view. Looking forward to Col Covington and Edwards. And fucking Colby, did you really get... I could have done it. Better job. Wonder Boy. Oh, bro. Sharp Cat's not the most interesting fighter to watch. I'm sorry. He gets the wins. He gets the submissions. But, you know, it's like a lot of the Dagestani fighters too. They just grind you down cardio-wise till you got nothing. And you can't even fight. Like, I don't know. On the streets, a bit different. You're like... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways... Good looking beer. I wasn't expecting much in this. I shouldn't say that because I'd love to have it on tap in the brouhaha Uri. But alas, I can't. Cheers, everyone. Let's have a sniff. Roy's back safe. Everyone's doing well, hopefully, and having a good time. m &A, and everyone else. You know what? Hang on a tick. Hang on. I was expecting this to be okay. I hope next time I go through Urala, which could be a while or maybe not, um, I get to have this on tap. It smells like mango. It smells like fruit juice. It smells gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. If you smell and look that good, well, you've got to be halfway there, I suppose. That is decadent. It's got a little mini spiel on the back, which is black on gold, which is two of my favourite colours, believe it or not. You know what, if you rolled up to me what your favourite colour is, before I medicated, I'd probably say, I don't know, like 
What are, you don't really care, do you? You have a favourite colour or... I think it's like green these days can be like 50 other fucking shades of shit. <laughs> don't know where that come from. <laughs> don't get angry over the colours, Goody. You lost 50 bucks on Colby. And you know what? I'm off the Colby train. <laughs> Edward's like, oh, it was a fucking boring blue. Sorry, but it was all oh, that ah, kadunk, kadunks, kadiddly digs, um, scrap in the bottom of the beer. It, mate, oh my god, I've got to award this right now. I'm, I shit you not, and it's not, look at me, I'm getting angry. It's not because of the, the, I, I had to, I had to drink a, uh, an extra dry, and I was then had a Colton dry, and I even had a little, a little nip of me bourbon to see what it was like, but I only had a little, little snippy poo, nippy poo. This beer is an absolute banger. 375 mil can, good ABV, hazy as F, fruit bomby looking. Look at that head retention. Look at, look at the lacing on the glass. And I've been sipping and talking shit. Do you have me any other way? I don't really give a fuck if you want me any other way. I'm just, I'm happy being me. Medium mouthfeel, lots of mango, lots of fruit. This is a banger. This is sensational. I'm holding my head with my right hand, looking at the beer. Mate, I'm really surprised by this. People will go, oh, you're probably, but, mate, I do like your Ella. I stopped into uh, the brewery there, New England, and the guy, the gentleman there, as I said in a previous video, was so nice, so... Good customer service goes a long way. Bad customer service. We're not going into this conversation. People go, you fucking spoke about this before. Goody, what's your new material? Well, I'll tell you this. As I have a sip. This is decadent. Oh, that's an easy drinking. 6.1, was it? Percent. Hazy IPA. Cod mouth. New. England have pumped the hops into this mug though. Honestly, I can't wait. I remember down the road from Urala too, there was a little distillery. Um, and the, one of the, the owner actually did the set work, I think, on Moulin Rouge, the movie. I never watched Moulin Rouge the whole way through. It just sort of, I don't know. anyway, we had little storms that fizzled out, very humid. You can hear the cicadas in the background. We're in suburbia here, and look, I hate to say I'm part of the problem, but we sort of are. And we always build and go, okay, we're living in houses. That's pushed out animals and wildlife, I get that. But we still live in them. And it's nice to be amongst them too. I'll tell you, I went out, I went out years ago, one night, and they were going, a few of the guys, and I think it was one girl, guys and girls going, shooting for ruse to get meat and all, and I just, nah. I think just let them be. You know, I don't, I don't want to hurt animals or hurt anyone at all that's the funny thing do you go to work and do you honestly look at yourself in the mirror and go I'm going to work today to really upset someone or hurt someone or even kill someone take someone's life think about it you go to work and there's some people you want to grab and just fuck and whack and go wake up because you're really just you know I get that, I get that, I get it. And then you've got your high performers who are ass, you know, halfway up the boss's ass. Shit covers your waist. And then you've got your guys who just work and just don't get involved in the politics, don't get involved in the work functions, just work. And go home and go, fuck that place, and, you know, and, and, but they turn up and work. They're your employees. 
That's what I reckon. And maybe I'm talking shit or I'm baked or whatever, but you know, like, fuck it. They are. You loyal motherfuckers who'll stand by and go, it's going down, but you're still going to get paid. People hate UFC and hate fighting, but Dana did it. Dana did it with a lot of his employees. He kept them on through COVID and all, and things turned to shit during that show, didn't it? Fucking COVID. You know, Colby lost today in the UFC, and he just didn't take it well, and he shouldn't have because it was a disgrace, and I'm sorry. Edward should have done this, and he didn't. But, well, Edward's not the pressure. Edward's is the, you know, the world champion. He's got to defend the title. You don't go in looking for a scrap. You're, well, maybe you do. Sean Strickland did. <laughs> oh, God, everyone knows I'm a fan of Strickland. But, God, he's just a fucking loose bit of gear. Now, tell me this. Answer me this. Do you look in the mirror and go, I'm just a fucking loose bit of gear? Who's just, you know, I'm not perfect. I've got some scars. I've got some fucking stories. You know, you're living this life ticking away, so you've got to enjoy yourself. Don't get stuck. I hate to say this, don't get stuck in routine, but routine is so good for you, depending on who you are. You know, I work shift work for a long time. What, like 30 years plus? No, actually, I would, hang on, 30, oh, here we go, Goody's adding up his age, <laughs> you can work at what, till you're eight, <laughs> I'll just try and quickly figure it out, it'll only take a tick, uh, yeah, 30, 34 years I've done shift work, even if it was delivering pizzas, and people will go, oh, this is where I'm going to go fucking, you know, about employment. Sometimes you've got to take the job that you don't really want or you don't like. And I know people are going to go, oh, my dreams and my family. Yeah, I know, bro. Like, well, sis, we've got them all. We've all got the dream that we're going to make and crack it big, but you've got to have a backup plan. Your backup plan should be your main plan. And if you do that well, that can excite you into a future plan. But just establish your level. Establish here, then go here, then go here, then grind it up. And I think there's some people in this world where, yeah, you'll, you'll ask them what makes you happy. Money. Money makes you happy. I can tell everybody on this channel, and I've never had a lot of money. <laughs> Bro. Fucking hell. You know, it is such, you know, it's, it makes you happy for what you get, like, say, 20, 30k, go out, buy a bike, buy a car, buy some nice shit, and you'll look at it and go, fuck, that was easy. I just bought this silver bracelet. I just bought this fucking car. And you wake up in the morning and go, how am I going to service that car? Or how am I going to... It's, you know, it, it, it's just... Money doesn't make you happy, man. People who think money makes you happy will never, ever find happiness. I'm telling you that, Top G's. No, I don't want to sound like fucking tape, but you know what I mean. The mozzies are attacking my legs. And I'm going to leave it at that. But yeah, like, aim for there and just, just chip. You know, it's a very long road and there's little speed humps. And those little speed humps you look back and they were the biggest speed hump in your world at the time. And it's called the crisis period where you try to get over that little hump and you do... Make it make you stronger. Speak your mind in the world. Don't be afraid to give negative feedback. Don't be afraid to give neg negative criticism. I had it. I had some peanut on. I was on TikTok today. And so and I wrote, there was about this thing about a post about dads are deadbeats in the court and should be locked up and all that. And it was like, 
um, I did a reply back and I said, you know, like there's mum deadbeats. Everyone, there's deadbeats everywhere, bro. Remember that. Well, don't remember that there's deadbeats everywhere, but remember there's just, I don't know, you got to go with your heart. Actually, I'll withdraw that, Your Honour. Go with your brain. Go with your brain. Your heart gets you in bad places. Go with your brain. Love each other. Take care of each other. This is a banger. What a smashing beer. I would get a... This makes Nipa look like cordial. It's... Oh, Urala. The Grifter, if we ever do our trip... This would be one of the brews to stop into and go, if you didn't like this, I'd be offended forever. <laughs> love each other, take care. I'll see you later. I love you all. Peace. Glad you're home safe, Roy. Wonderful adventure.